What's up YouTube? It's Kira here. I'm back with another video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. The name is Kira Ray, and if you're returning, then welcome back. You already know we are here with an episode of Tea with Keeks, episode four to be a little bit more exact. Um, for anyone who is new here, Tea with Keeks is a new segment that I have just started, and it basically just provides me with a safe space to talk about the sides of college that you don't necessarily see on my vlogs, you know, because sometimes things look a little happy and all that stuff, and in reality, it may not be. So yeah, I'm just here to give you guys a little bit more transparency parent insight into what life is like in college focusing on me being a black dance major being a dance major in general and also just being a student in college so yes yeah, so today's video is just my advice that I would give to people who are entering in college or people who I guess are already in their freshman year and just you know still trying to figure things out so this video won't be long at all because I actually got somewhere to go number one don't buy textbooks okay like and you're probably like oh my gosh Kira what are you saying girl look let me tell you there have been times actually this year I have bought a book first week because I was so like oh I gotta get my books all la 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 didn't even need it and then I ended up dropping the class so there will be courses where you actually genuine, genuinely do need the textbook, but I would just say don't buy it. Do not spend a hundred plus dollars on a book if you won't need it. And I know that's kind of like testing the waters because the teacher can assign a reading and you don't know if, if they're actually going to talk about the reading in class or not. But I would just say give it a couple classes just to see. Now if she says read, you have a test over it or a quiz over it, then obviously you're going to need your book. But there just been so many times where I've bought books and spent money that I did not need to spend. Like spent two three hundred dollars on books and i didn't even read them so ask somebody if you genuinely need the book or not before you go and purchase advice number two and this one is a little bit deep don't go into college thinking that you know that know everything i think one of my biggest faults freshman year was that i was like oh yeah i'm gonna do this stuff oh you taught me about advising boom i already know how all this is gonna work out like i just came in thinking that i knew how everything was gonna go i knew how my life was gonna look like in college when in reality, all of those thoughts and expectations that I placed on myself changed after the first week and I felt like a lost little pup. So go in to this new environment, like giving yourself space, giving yourself grace to learn and just absorb everything new that's going to be happening around you because you will fall harder if you place bigger expectations on yourself in the beginning and don't give yourself room to grow. That is my personal philosophy when it comes to entering a new environment. You don't know everything. You always have things to learn, especially when you're talking about something like college because I'm I'm a senior and I'm learning new things about myself and the people around me like every single day. So the learning never stops. So don't go in thinking that, oh, <laughs> I already know everything. Because no, you don't. No, you don't. You might fall flat on your face like I did, but it's fine. <laughs> Advice number three. And this kind of connects to what I just said also. Don't go in thinking that you were also going to be the most responsible person, the most studious person. You know, you're always going to be on top of your stuff because you're not. Like, you're genuinely not. <laughs> like, freshman year, I was like, oh, I'm going to get my assignments done two weeks in advance, all of this stuff. Baby, no, burnout burnout happened quick because again I wasn't giving myself grace to like mess up and relax and chill college you're here to learn and better your education all that stuff but learning doesn't just look like reading textbooks and you know paying attention in your classes and getting all your work done on time no like there are two different kinds of learning that are going on in college one is like more academia related and then the other one is like personal learning like growth like learning about life like learning about yourself in this new environment i think college is more so about learning life skills and maturing as a human being more so than about actually retaining information in your classes because i do not remember the stuff that i learned in my classes freshman year if i'm being honest but the lessons the life lessons that i've learned those are with me forever in saying that being studious getting all your stuff done you can still do that while also allowing yourself to experience things to put yourself in situations not terrible situations now but like just allowing yourself to get out there and make new friends you know sometimes it's okay i would say to choose to do your homework a little bit later so you can go to this event or choose to do your homework earlier in the day so you can go to this event you don't have to be working 24 7. now look if that's you if you want to do that go ahead of course you always have that option but you can get tired real easily if you keep 
putting that expectation over yourself to get things done get things done get things done like it's okay to take a step back it's okay to have a little self-care moment and be like no homework you were gonna drive me crazy right now i'm gonna do you tomorrow instead of today so essentially what i'm saying is give yourself grace you know you don't have to be perfect all the time basically moving on to advice number four and this is going back to a more superficial advice if you could avoid taking at 8 a.m i would suggest it because let me tell you at 8 a.m is not the same thing as it is in high school okay in high school i could wake up at 5 45 catch the bus go to school for 7 50 be in school have dance classes in the morning then go to my academic classes get out of school at three then turn around and have rehearsal and have to study and then go to church and participate in ministry practices and i still wasn't exhausted i could do all of that in a day versus in college i go to one class and i'm burnt out so what i'm saying to you with this is that it's the idea of the choice having the choice is what makes it harder in high school, I was talking to my friends about this the other day, but in high school, you didn't have a choice. Like, or at least I didn't have a choice not to go to school. Like, it was expected. But in college, because you have the option of not going to class, because you're accountable for yourself now, it's easy not to want to go. So taking at 8 a.m., like, it's gonna be harder to get up. And you can miss your classes. Like, I did. I didn't miss all of them, but you know, there are definitely days where I was like, mm, no. So, 8 a.m.s are really hard in college. Now, there is the benefit because, you know, you get your classes done, you know, in the morning and then you have the rest of the afternoon to chill. But, like, if you're not a morning person, I would just go ahead and say, don't place that expectation on yourself to get up at 6 45, 7 a.m. to make this 8 a.m. class because, like, it won't happen and you might regret it. So, probably not the best advice, but at the same time, like, if you want to actually go to all of your classes, then, like, just don't take 8 a.m., just take the later class. And you'll be fine you're gonna be learning the exact same information my next thing and i covered this in my second and third tea with kicks video don't come to college in a relationship like i personally don't think it's worth it you are going to learn more things about yourself and about just other people around you who you could possibly be more compatible with but you don't allow yourself to experience those opportunities because you're so hooked to what you had in the past and like honestly i don't even think this just relates to romantic relationships friendships in general i was really eager to get away from my high school friends not because i didn't love them but i've known these people for four years like i'm interested in seeing like what a new set of friends can look like i still have that relationship with them you know when i go home or i can text them whenever but i didn't want to bring them with college because i wanted a new life completely and sometimes i think we can stunt our growth because we're too attached to something that happened in our past. Yeah, whether it's a romantic relationship or like a friendship, social one, whatever it is. It's okay to loosen your grip, to let go, and to not attach those things to yourself when you enter into a new environment because you don't know how it's going to affect your growth. And also personally, and y'all can watch this video, um, it'll be here somewhere but i came into college in a relationship and i found myself way more stressed out and stretched thin because i was trying to like commit so heavily to that thing while also trying to figure out what college was like and it was just an extra stress and burden that i didn't really need the person themselves weren't a burden to me but i was just doing too much at a young age and i mean i'm still young but i was just doing too much at a time that i did not need to be doing too much you know like I needed to be sitting down, being still, and just taking in the new stuff that I was experiencing. Not trying to maintain this relationship, la la la. Girl, no. It ain't worth it, okay? It's not worth it. So, that's that. Again, I have a little bit more of an in-depth explanation in the video that's going to be linked here. Moving on, and I'm almost done. So, my next and biggest piece of advice, I would say, is that it's okay to say no. Say no. And this can be applied to so many things so many things people um teachers um events like there th this can be applied to a lot of stuff and my one of my biggest like issues and flaws is that i don't know how to say no to people because i'm just really giving and caring and i like to stretch myself then before i let someone know that like that's hurting me which is like really toxic Towards myself and last year it was actually something that I had to grow into like 
I had to grow into not saying yes to anything and everything because I realized that none of that means anything if I can't truly give 100% to the things that I'm committing to. There's no fulfillment coming out of that. And I personally am all, am all about like, if it makes you happy, if it fulfills you, like if it really fills your cup up, then do it. But if not, and it's gonna cause you to halfway co to commit, then like, you're wasting your time and you're wasting the other pre you're wasting the other person's time because there are probably people out there who actually do want to commit 100%. So like if you can't give it all, then just don't do it. And that's okay. Like cuz you have to take care of yourself, like your mental health, your sanity, like me personally, I had dance classes going on, I had dance rehearsals going on, you know, you have academics going on, mental health things to address. And so me stretching myself then and saying, yes, I help you, yes, I help you, yes, I help you. Like I wasn't giving myself time to heal, to love myself, to take care of myself. Like things like eating kind of slipped up because, um, you know, I just kept saying yes, yes, yes. And it was like, girl, you need to calm down. You need to calm down. So it's okay to say no to people and to only commit to the things that you genuinely want to do. Also, if you're a freshman, yes, go to events, but you don't have to go to every single event. The events will still be there your sophomore year, your junior year, and your senior year, okay? Focus on getting grounded before doing anything and everything. But now moving on to my last and final piece of advice. It's okay to ask upperclassmen for advice and talk to your professors, guys. These people are here to help you, okay? Because they were once in your position, specifically speaking about upperclassmen. Personally, I talked to upperclassmen when I was a freshman and I think that it helped me out a lot because I was able to get advice sooner from people and figure things out a little bit quicker than those who were a little bit shy and like didn't want to talk to people. I'm like, I think that in society, there's this just natural like hierarchy. Like yes, freshman and senior, you know, they've been here long or whatever, but within that hierarchy, it's like, I have to be intimidated by them, but it's like, no, you don't. Like, they're just people, you know? The only reason they're higher than you is because they were born earlier, they graduated high school earlier, and they've been in college longer than you. Like, those are the only reasons why they're technically above you, but like, they're not above you. Like, they're not, that doesn't demean you or put you on a lower pedestal than them in any way, shape, or form. So like, I see people for help, and they nine times out of 10, most likely want to help you out because they don't want you struggling, especially if they struggled. Or at least I don't want you struggling. I don't want you to have to struggle just because I struggle. Like, I don't, like, no, that's just stupid to me. So yeah, ask them for advice. We are here to help you guys out. Yeah, so we're chill. Just, just ask for advice. Um, and then my last thing, yeah, like also talk to your professors. Like they have office hours. Professors, I feel like are cooler than sometimes people can think. At least in the dance department, like our department is really small and I feel like I'm actually friends with my professors. Like I still have that respect for them, obviously like teacher student wise, but they can help guide you outside of like an academic setting you know like I've gotten advice from my teachers you know like I've laughed with my teachers like I can get coffee with my professors if I want to um, if I want to talk to them about something like it, it doesn't have to only be dance related and like you can do the same thing with your professors build those relationships because they can be a connection for you once you graduate so always think about connections I think that's one of the biggest things that one of my friends that just graduated um, taught me it's just like connections 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 care build connections and I'm like okay okay but I get it it makes sense because they might be the reason why I get a job in the future so build your connections guys that is it for today and also for this month of September I hope these two weeks videos are going well I think that they're going well and I hope you guys are liking them next month I can't decide if I want to talk about dance or just expand more on like things about like freshman year and advice that I would give you guys um, talk about my worst things about freshman year and my favorite things that happened freshman year. I don't really know, but if you want to comment down below what you want to see or hear me talk about, please do that. Um, I also might talk about like dance and my background and that. So just let me know if you have it in your heart to guide me in this process. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. I have an event that I need to get to and I am not trying to be late. So yes, I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.